Hey guys, Mike from Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Here today with another drivability issue on a 2016 Audi Q3. Uh, that is a popular vehicle here in Oakville. Uh, the Audis in general are pretty popular. This one has the uh, two liter turbo engine that is used across the Audi line as well as the Volkswagen line. And as luck would have it, our vehicle here today is uh, has a very common issue or is what's becoming a common issue with these vehicles uh, that's causing a drivability problem and concern for customers uh, with a check engine light coming on, flashing, poor drivability, uh, poor performance, poor fuel economy. Uh, and it's all related to this issue that we're going to talk about today with my man, Drew. Hey, everybody. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the issue we had here, uh, check engine light on. Uh, two codes related. One was a heater circuit code uh, in the upstream oxygen sensor, not related to this issue that we're going to show you here. Um, what we have here is the code was for a secondary throttle valve position sensor uh, range performance. Sounds expensive. Well, it can be. Um, these, in, in this case here, what the issue was, um, this is the intake manifold here. And there is a uh, vacuum operated through a uh, vacuum switching valve uh, vacuum actuator here. What happens is these are the secondary throttle flaps here, which move through the vacuum. And what I've added on here, this is where the um, position sensor bolts on. But as you can see, as it, and that's come right off and this is where it fails. What goes in there it'll go but it does it only starts turning towards the end it is not in sync at all so this can be all the way open and this is barely triggering the switch here on the end because okay. it's not uh, they're not moving in sync we have the new unit here now these fail um, for multiple reasons um, sometimes vacuum leaks through the ends um, they can cause uh, lean codes uh, multiple cylinder misfires, but that's not the issue we had here. Unfortunately, these are serviced as a whole unit, being the whole intake manifold. They are available through the aftermarket, um, so you're not at the mercy of the dealer. This is the new one here, all in good shape. This one here, you can see as it just moves in complete sync with the secondary throttle valve. Um, this is in the middle of having the parts all transferred back over the vacuum lines, the uh, fuel rail for the uh, direct injection. Um, so it is, you know, a bit of an intense job, uh, three and a half to four hours to do. You need to be very careful. So this is not for our backyard mechanic fans? Well, if they're hardcore Volkswagen, then they know what to do. But uh, there's a lot of things that could go wrong if you're not careful. Um, once we replace this and the uh, upstream oxygen sensor in the back, you know, we'll clear the codes, reset everything, take it for a nice drive, and uh, just to reset all the monitors and have everything uh, working as originally intended again. Awesome. And they'll be back to going back on the road. That's great. Thanks very much, Drew. Welcome. And as the sign behind us says, we have the three year, 60,000 kilometer parts and labor warranty. This customer gets that warranty on this component that we're installing here through our friends, friends at CarQuest and TechNet. That is a North American wide warranty. That means that if this customer is traveling and with 160,000 kilometers on this 2016, this customer does travel, um, any TechNet shop will honor that warranty and cover the warranty should the unlikelihood of one of these components that we're installing fails. Uh, it will be replaced free of charge to the customer. That's parts and labor. Ask your dealer what their warranty is on their parts when you're having your, this component installed through them. Uh, chances are, I promise you, it won't be three year, 60,000 kilometer parts and labor warranty. Keep that in mind. Thanks for watching guys. Urban Auto, Oakville, Ontario. Always putting safety first.